The next part of our study in our series in Romans uh, chapter 8 is the security in God of, of God's plan, the security of God's plan. So if you'd like to turn to Romans chapter 8 verse 29. Romans chapter 8 verse 29. Romans chapter 8 verse 29 it says for whom he foreknow he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren for whom he foreknow he also predestined to be conformed to his image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren we're going to look at a truth now and this truth if you grasp it will revolutionize your life we're going to look at predestination. Now, many Christians have argued about this, Calvinists and Arminians. You've probably heard them. It's probably done your head in. And, um, you know, and many people have got discouraged about thinking about this truth. But, you know, it's a very simple truth. If you grasp this simple truth, it will revolutionize your life. It really will. And that, that, that simple truth is this. Before you were even born, God chose you. All right. God knew you specifically. You were the apple of his heart, eye before you were even born. And he proved that by sending his son to die for you, by opening your eyes, and he's going to bring you on to glory, and you're going to be with him forever. But before you were even born, you were special to him. And if that is seen in his provision of salvation, now many people will start arguing about this. Well, do I have free will? Uh, and all that, and all that's nonsense. It's all rubbish. We just got to take scripture, what scripture says. And if you take this simple truth that God chose you and meditate on it and reflect on it, as it permeates your thinking, it will revolutionize your your life. Those who get depressed will be renewed. Those who get discouraged will be renewed. Think about this truth, and it will change your life. I promise you, that God chose you before you were even born. When that truth sinks, it's like a light bulb come on in a dark room. Um, it's a difficult concept, but it's a simple concept. If we turn to Acts chapter 2. And we spoil this truth by trying to make it complicated and try to, trying to um, ask questions that scripture doesn't entertain. But it says in Acts chapter 2, verse 22, Men of Israel, this is about Jesus, our Lord. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by works by God to you, by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did through him, as you yourselves know, in being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by lawless hands, have crucified and put to death so what that passage is saying before the Lord Jesus was even born it was in the plan of God that he would die on the cross now the Bible doesn't say that God plans uh, God does evil he doesn't do evil but what the Bible says in a mysterious way everything that happens is in the plan of God we don't fully understand how that works but that's what the scriptures teach so what that means is that before the beginning of time you were in the plan of God and God has brought is bringing that plan of your salvation to pass he's provided that salvation he's opened your eyes and he's going to bring you home so what that means in practice it means whatever dark thoughts come in your mind whatever difficulties attack you you know that you are safe in the eternal love of God that he loved you before you were even born and that love showed itself at Calvary and you're safe in the arms of God and if you get that truth it will be a tremendous blessing a tremendous help and a tremendous encouragement to you all right I hope that's a blessing and uh, please feel free to leave your comments and uh, I hope it's an encouragement to you thank you for listening God bless you